Well, you're a world record holder, right? Yes, sir. That's awesome, dude. Appreciate it, man. Congratulations. Yep. So let's do a world record base demo right here. Hello, this is Kip from Kicker Car Audio, and I'm sitting here with EXO, it looks like. How you doing, man? Yeah, I'm doing good, man. And we're here with... Travis from JY Power. Travis and I kind of work together on this radical, I'll use the word crazy idea, about building an over-the-top extreme SPL vehicle. There's 40 of our L7 Q15s, and it's our sound quality woof. We didn't design it as an SPL sub. So we got the guys from JY, and they're like, hey, let's take 40 of these things and create a lot of bass. And I can tell you, from not just my reaction, but the reactions of others, just sitting there with a the 20 hertz tone, I was like, it was better than a fan. You know, guys speaking to fan, oh, I'm your father, Luke. We introduced the square subwoofer in 2001. A lot of different people go, ah, it's just a marketing gimmick. You guys just make them square because it makes you a little bit different. I've seen them as triangles, I've seen hexagons, I've seen pentagons, and I look at those guys and I go, you know what, here's the science to it all. You take any geometric shape, round, pentagon, triangle, it doesn't matter. If you take the available area and then you convert it into a square shape, you have a bigger, larger moving piston than any other equivalent shape. It has about 23% more cone area than a round woofer. So if I can pack my woofers tighter together and they become more of a single moving plane, I'm going to be more efficient at moving that wall of air. So yes, a square subwoofer is better. You can pack them in tighter and they move more cone area. It's just a fact. Powering that up, we make a line of amplifiers called our red line, it's KX, and the big dog in that line is a 2400.1 monoblock amplifier. There's 20 of those in the cube, so it's two woofers per amplifier. There's 48,000 watts in base, and then there's a lot of our eight inch marine coax speakers on the outside. I mean, this thing qualifies as a rolling stage. I think there's like 177 drivers on the cube in eight inch variety. I mean, I've had some people ask, oh, you just leave those speakers out there all the time? Like, it's our marine coax, and we're powering those up with 12 of those 1200.2s in there. I said, you know, I got an idea here. Why don't we take and use a couple of our IQ amplifiers? And this sounds crazy. I said, let's get a couple of these amplifiers and use them as line drivers for the rest of your system. And so the speaker outputs of the amplifier are hooked to an RCA cable and drives all the amplifiers. And what's really cool about our IQ amps is they have a built-in DSP engine, full control over crossover, compression, gating, 31 band EQ per channel. And so they can be standing at the podium. They can go, okay, let me bring in my base amplifier. And now it affects all the amplifiers because it's the line driver for the whole system. I look at this wall of power and I go, how are you guys gonna power this thing? And you demoed all day without an alternator or a power supply to charge it. And these batteries hung in there. I'm blown away with what your packs are able to do and run our amplifiers. Here at Slamology, we were able to maintain a 64 to a 65 for about four hours. You guys basically did a 240 minute death match and never charged the battery pack. We can recharge the whole bank in 15 minutes if we supply it with enough current. Our battery bank weighs right around 600 pounds. A conventional battery bank would weigh right around 12,000 pounds. This has been a great project. It's really fun to see everyone having just a good time. They get in the cube and they come out with a big smile on their face and that's pretty dang cool. The number one comment I heard this weekend is uh, it's like having your chest kicked in by a horse. So... Hey, look behind you. <laughs>
single time the bass hit, my eyes were getting whiplashed with the ends of my hair. I guess having long hair has its downsides when you're getting pounded with damn near 165 decibels. You saw that guy holding up his camera and in real time we were at almost a 164. So this thing is brutal. You keep seeing the people's reactions like, ah, 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 get me out of here. It's like two times more than anybody else can take. But lo and behold, we get people like me and people like all of us at these shows who just have to sit inside. So. Ah, without any further ado, let's go ahead and hit the hot seat. And even though I tapped out pretty damn quick and I'm probably gonna get it made fun of because even little kids lasted longer than me, I was getting damn near flexed apart. My ribs, I felt like I could feel them rubbing up against each other. Probably a little bit too much bass for the EXO. I never thought I would say that, but those frequencies were killer. So let's go ahead and see just how long it takes for me to tap out. Man, not very. the pain with a build like this is right on the borderline. That little kid, damn near four feet tall, handled it better than I did. I'm more of a low bass kind of guy. Anything below 35 hertz, I can take up to 163 plus, no problem. But once you start getting into that range above 40 hertz, it really starts affecting my rib cage and my bones. I just start like jitter jattering in my seat and I can just feel my body being overwhelmed by it. So as embarrassing as it is, I think I did the right thing on YouTube by cutting the demo a little bit short. So tell me what your personal limit is. What frequency begins to make you go like, uh, kind of teeth chattering, kind of brain pounding bass. What frequency do you find yourself being like, I'll turn that down a little bit. Mine's around 40 plus hertz. It really starts to bring the pain around there. And speaking of bringing the pain, next up we've got a very impressive demo with just two subwoofers. You don't always need an extravagantly large, massive sound system to get high output from your subwoofers. Just check out Mr. Donald Calger with his world record setting system, giving us some crazy bass demos, hitting those lows, bringing up some hair tricks, just all around awesome flex and a very impressive sound system. Let's check it out. All right, next demo, guys. You remember him from a few years ago. We actually did a nice bass demo right here on YouTube. You're a world record holder, right? Yes, sir. That's awesome, dude. Appreciate it, man. Congratulations. So let's do a world record bass demo right here. We did a 151.56 two-minute average subsonic suicide run at 28 hertz from the trunk. From back there. Yes, sir. That's something. So let's get crazy, shall we?
Huge thanks to our friends at the Amp Lab for supporting the EXO channels. If you've got a busted up amp that needs repairing or just looking to buy new and used gear, be sure to check out the Amp Lab. Troy and Ethan are always hooking it up for us bass heads. Follow the link below. Now let's get back into it. Well, there we have it guys, some more extreme car audio videos courtesy of the EXO channels and you guys at all these shows coming up to me, bringing me in your car, showing me what you got, big or small, it always brings the biggest smile to my face. I can't wait to get my own system running. It's gonna be even bigger than anything we've ever done, so make sure you guys subscribe. If you're into large sound systems, stereo systems, checking out other people's stuff, my personal stuff, I have so much fun with this, so I like bringing you guys along for the ride. And if you'd like to check out our Patreon, we're gonna be setting up some new uh, categories for you guys to help you reach out to me personally if you have questions and car audio concerns. Let me know in the comments and I'm going to try to get uh, a little kind of uh, section in my Patreon just for you guys who are looking to learn more about based car audio. So until the next video, this is EXO signing out. Thank you for watching. I will talk to you in the next one. Much more car audio on the way. I'll talk to you then. <laughs>